my friend Rachel's birthday is tomorrow, so Rachel, if you're watching this, happy, you know, birthday Eve. I love birthdays. I'm really, like, obsessed with knowing everyone's birthday. I mean, I can't, like, memorize it. Like, my friend Leela, who works with me, actually, she can, like, memorize every single person, like, she meets their birthdays, and she'll, like, remember it, you know? Isn't that really weird? I think that's, like, a really cool, like, weird talent that I'd love to have, but, I mean, unfortunately, we're not all that special, so. Don't know why I'm talking about this at the beginning of my uh, August favorites, but whatever. Now you guys know a little bit more about me. So I'm just going to get into my favorites. They're a mixture of beauty things one hair thing and a couple non-beauty and hair things that's probably gonna surprise you so stay tuned and don't go anywhere because I love you. So the first little duo kind of thing I love is my foundation and my stippling brush. MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 and I'm in the shade NW20. It covers up all of my imperfections. Stippling brush with it. Um, I know it looks kind of pink but that's because my blush that I was using like previous to this before I used it for foundation was making it like pink and when I cleaned it it just like kind of stained it which I mean I have no problem with because foundation kind of dirties it up a little bit too but this is a really great brush it has a really great like handle and it's like firm but then again it like you know blends everything really nicely it makes my skin look flawless so I love this little you know handy dandy little stippling brush here if you have not gotten one invest in one it'll like totally make your life I found my other half <laughs> Next I've been loving my Maybelline 1x1 One One Mascara and it's the pink or like corally tube with the blue and I know I had a little accident right here. I was like, you know, putting on my mascara as usual and then I like missed and got my whole hands, so, like the side of my hand was all black and I'm like, oh my god. So anyway, that was a really great story. I should tell it at parties. But this is the 1x1 One One Mascara by Volume Express Maybelline and I love it. Um, it gets every single little lash. I got introduced to this mascara by MAC Barbie 07 in her like... Um, fall beauty trends video. I don't know. She's talking about how to get the spider lashes. Thank you, Bethany. This is a lifesaver, okay? I'm telling you, guys. My last beauty favorite is my NYC um, New York Colors Individual Eye Palette. And I've talked about this palette so much. Almost like a brown smoky eye effect. And I love it. I haven't used the purple for anything yet because I'm not that that adventurous. But I'll have to see if it, if it matches with something or I don't really know. It comes with a highlight and a... Um, Blah, whatever that thing is called, primer. So if you just like pop this in your purse for your travel, you know, travelocity needs. This is great. Isn't there like a website called travelocity.com or something? Am I like going crazy? The perfect like, you know, all in one palette just for the eyes. This was so worth the $6 it was. I definitely recommend it. Um, NYC is found, you know, at a lot of different drugstores. I know Target for sure has it because that's where I got this. It's in 938 Union Square. Don't mind my lovely nails, I need to paint them again, but this is what the palette looks like. So hair-wise, something I've been loving this month, my Moroccan Oil Shine Spray, which is the Glimmer Shine Spray, sorry. Perdón. Perdóname. Does that make sense? I don't really know. It's a glass bottle, so you have to be careful, I haven't dropped it yet. I spray like three little spritzes on each side of my hair and then just brush it out and it makes my hair smell delicious, one, and feel like, you know... Like unicorn hair, so soft and silky. So Definitely go pick it up. I got mine from aview.com, but it's available at many different stores. My go-to shoes for the last few weeks of this month are my Sperry's. Shh, don't tell anybody, but they're not real. They are by the brand um, Highland Creek, and I'll show you. It has a little tabby thing up here. Usually it would say like Sperry, and then on the back it would say Sperry. These look almost identical to the Sperry Topsiders. Uh, I think they're called Topsiders, right? They look really similar. They even have like the cork, you know, ties up here. They're really squishy on the inside. I don't know what it is, but they're really squishy. They have rubber soles, like wear them to work. The best part about these shoes was that they're only $30, and usually Sperry is like the original brown ones are like $60, $70, depending on like, you know, sales and different things like that, but these were only $30. I know they're not like Sperry brand, but they're just as good. I got these from Rack Room Shoes or like a Rack Room... I don't remember what it was called. Next thing I've been loving is going to probably surprise you or, you know, slightly scare you a little bit, and is my Febreze Spring and Renewal, and it's just the purpley blue periwinkle one. So I don't know about you guys watching at home, but I'm a pet owner. I own a guinea pig named Delia, and she's like six years old, five or six, I think she's six. She's nearing the end of her little happy life, but um, she smells disgusting. Like, I mean, because she, like her, her cage is her bathroom. So she just, you know, goes and does it wherever she wants, wherever she pleases. And her hay and her food and the combination of just being an animal, it just stinks. It stinks my whole room up because I love her to pieces. Love that girl, you know, like a sister, like a, like a guinea pig. I just can't stand her stench. I had my mom buy me, you know, a lovely Febreze here. And I don't know if you guys have seen the commercial um, where they like send these people into like this room in this like, you know, vacant house and they make it like it's really gross and disgusting house. And they like spray this and then have the blindfolds on and they're like, oh, you know, uh, 
what does this room smell like? And they're like, oh, it smells like cotton and flowers. And then they take off the blindfold. They're like, what the heck? This room is gross. Like, why does it smell so great? And that's because, my friends, Febreze is a lifesaver. It makes my room smell delightful. Whenever someone walks in, they're like, oh my gosh, Katie, your room smells really good. And they, they kind of forget that the guinea pig is there sometimes, which is, you know, two in one deal, right? Friends and a good smelling room just for the price of whatever this was. I just go and like spray everything. The last thing I've been loving for this month is actually a food favorite. You know, I have a little bit of everything in this video. It's a Luna protein bar and this one's in cookie dough and I eat these like almost every morning. I mean either this or a Z bar by Zone Bar Z bar. I don't really know. I've been obsessed with the little snack bars ever since I've been going to school because I wake up at 5.30 in the morning, 5.20, you know, anywhere from 5.20 to 5.30 and my bus comes at like 6.30 so I need to like be out the door within an hour and I'm doing my hair and doing my makeup I don't have enough time to like eat a full breakfast. It's cookie dough like in the middle or like cookie dough like imitate imitation cookie dough like not imitation crap from sushi but like imitation cookie dough. It's coated with like creamy chocolate and it's really squishy and delicious. Not squishy but you know how like when you're eating cookies like you bake cookies and then they're like um, really squishy in the middle like and then really warm and toasty and the chocolate chips are melting just slightly that's like the best the best that's like heaven for me. I love squishy cookies so I mean I love squishy little protein bars too I guess. This is the inside and that is just like like cookie dough in there with little chocolate chips in there and it tastes delicious. Oh wait, and I almost forgot to tell you my favorite music for this month. Every month I'm going to do this new thing where I talk about a couple songs I've been like obsessed with or a couple of new artists I've discovered. Oh, has my necklace been turned around this whole video? That's really embarrassing. Crazy Beautiful Life by Kesha and I've kind of been obsessed with this song. Like I play it like all the time and I know every word to it. I mean, <laughs> well, it's really like catchy and it has a really great like idea around it and I love it. I love Kesha. To a certain extent, but I mean this song is just awesome. You guys have to listen to it because it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Awesome blossom. That's all I can say. Another song I've been kind of slightly really obsessed with is Cage the Elephant, or it's by Cage the Elephant. It's called Ain't No Rest for the Wicked, and you guys have to listen to this song because it's really catchy. I love, you know, the sound and like the, I don't know, the atmosphere, I guess. And the last song I've been loving is Pumped Up Kicks by... Foster the People, I always forget. It's from the album Torches, and it's a really great alternative song. I think it's like number three on the total iTunes list for like um, last month, I guess. Yep, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye!